there's one fixture in the Isthmian South Central Division that's unlike any other, the trip to Guernsey. Once the proud birthplace to footballing legend Matt Letizia, the island is, we'd hope, no longer sold on that particular selling point. Enter Guernsey FC, a club formed in 2011 with the intention of giving the islanders of the requisite footballing skill an opportunity to test themselves against those in the English football pyramid. To make this work, Guernsey FC helped to fund the away trips for the teams who have to fly down for the away fixtures. And that's just as well on this particular day because the weather has not been great on the island. Oh, well that's, that's normal. And as Rains Park Vale are about to discover, it's not how far you travel, but the amount of water in the turf that defines whether or not a fixture can go ahead. The referees are taking photos of it. The referees taking photos, he's going to put that in a referees group and then they'll make a decision. Really? Yeah, that's what they do. They've, they've got, they've, they'll put it in a group, they put it in a referees group, don't they? And they ask for everyone's opinion. That's what they do. I mean, I'd, I'd be the same, I'd want people's opinions. So yeah, I'd be you the would, same. yeah. Because it's close, yeah. border. So what's the plan that it's off there? That boys can see each other with the trainers? Well, yeah, they've already started, look. They're <laughs> 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 tennis. It was a trap. <laughs> We'll just, be doing, we'll just be doing that, Jack, that's all we'll be doing for the rest of the afternoon. All right, that's all we're doing. Maybe two-handed ones as well. And those little ones. And the little shots, yeah. Let's look, let's look, on, let's look on the brighter side of it. If we'll have a game to play if it's on, and if it's not, we're going to have a piss-up. So I, I, I would play it. That's not playable, though. It's unsafe. If you're, if you're at risk of the player's safety, you yeah, can't play it, yeah, can you? Yeah, but I'd play it. They haven't even rolled the ball or anything. No, they haven't really done much to it, have He's more worried about his fucking tee. Come on, I just want a decision. I know, yeah, so we can sort out either our pub crawl or the game. <laughs> Maybe we should be going out in a couple of yeah. Here we go, they're coming back over now. Give it an hour, we'll see how it is. <laughs> really? What are they going for? So we're just going to try and sand it down, see if we can... It's only a bit of trial at the minute, it's not... OK. Is it, the, um, is it just that main bit? Yeah, it's two or Yeah, it's two, yeah, first one. But this is the bit, like, I know those patches, but fill this, that's, know, that's even dangerous. This imagine, is... imagine this after half hour. Yeah. What are you saying, ref? Done. No good. Yeah, done. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to get kitted up and get. We have to go back in our kit as well. I'll be on the way. Shin pads and everything. <laughs> back at the doghouse, yeah? Right, okay, listen up. Obviously, game's off. The game will be rescheduled on a Wednesday, okay? And we'll be staying over. All right, so it'll be a Wednesday night game. Champions, Champions League night, all right? We get to live the dream. Yeah, get to live the dream. And we'll, we'll be training Tuesday and Thursday, yeah. <laughs> the pub, we'll walk down there, it's not far. And then what we've got is a 4.45 meet back at the doghouse, okay. We get fully kitted up, okay. And we run around the track. All right, or, don't nibble. You nibbling today, aren't you? Or, or, we get fully kitted up and we go to the doghouse yeah. and get the drink. Rather than do any training, any warm-ups, warm-downs or anything along those lines, the players voted to have a few quiet drinks at the local pub before enjoying a relaxing flight home. And that is the perfectly happy and entirely true ending of that chapter. So this isn't a Guernsey episode after all, it's actually a Binfield episode. And five days after the aborted trip south, the Rains Park coaching team are setting the veil up for the visit of the league's whipping boys, Binfield FC. Right, can we come just quickly, just listen up, we'll do it here, and then you guys can just go out there, shower and that. Just make sure when it comes to Saturday, the focus is us and only us, as I said. Right, but as soon as we come off it, we're vulnerable. Right, and that's not just us, that's anyone. Okay, but we know ourselves what's capable. Right? We need to make sure we're switched on, bang on it. Now, when we start a session flat, that's not good enough. That's like starting the first 10 minutes, shit. You can see the goal, you're asking yourself for a challenge. We can't, we can't afford that. Okay, and I'm never gonna, you know, I know it's crap out there. I'm the first person to turn around and say, look, you boys have every right to fucking literally go, we're not training. All right, you can refuse, all right? That's how bad it is. And we need to make sure we're pushing each other because it's only gonna get harder. All right, teams that are in and around us, there's six or seven of them that all could fucking win the league still. Can still hit the playoffs. All right, they're all going to be fucking trying to go for it. They're all going to be pushing the clubs to be like, fucking get this player in, get that player in. Let's try and really kick on. All right? We need to fucking make sure we stick together and we are fucking consistent from now to the end of the season. All right? And if that's fucking this Saturday, if that's fucking next Saturday, if that's the fucking run of the fucking January month for fucking Chertsey, Marlow, fucking Badshot, or whoever else it is. All right? 
it needs to, if it's fucking boxing day, you need to be fucking ready, every single one of us. Because like, when your time comes, you need to be fucking bang on it. And I get that we haven't played enough games. I get there's people going, oh, fucking friendly this, friendly that. We need it, I get it. All right? And we're doing everything we can to do it. All right? But if not, and it fucking, you haven't played a game in four, four weeks, and you're fucking there, and it's your time to fucking play, you've got no excuses. You need to be ready. All right? And every other team is having the same issue. So there's no excuses in that sense. All right? We need to just make sure we fucking worry about ourselves and get that, our job done game by game. All right? And you've been brilliant so far. All right? But don't think at any opportunity that you are going to be fucking let off it at any point. You're not. All right, because we can't afford it. I don't want any regrets, and I'm sure you guys don't. Okay, so if it seems like I'm fucking stressed, it's because I fucking want to win. All right, and you guys should feel the same. It's only for the best of what we've got and what we want moving forward. Okay? Yep. I am really enjoying it still. Don't get me wrong, fucking, it comes with its tough moments like Guernsey and having a fucking few busy days dealing with fucking shit. All right, but it is all worth it because what we've got here is special. Okay, and we need to make sure we fucking keep doing that week on week. All right? Yep. Perfect. Really well done. Get yourself shout out. Let's get in. Great session, well done. Really, really good. But in terms of, I think, the way that we're playing, I think it's been better. Disappointed with Southall in the sense that I didn't feel we were ourselves. I no. felt like we, it was a big game. When I was thinking about it against Southall, we looked reserved. We looked like we were playing a top of the table clash. When, yeah. the, when we're at our best, is like we blew Westfield away, we blew Oxford Bridge away, we blew Chertsey away. That yeah. when we played Walton here as well. And we just, thinking, yeah, like, just like, no, just, like shackles are off and yeah, just fucking go no and play our game. Yeah, no fear. Where Whereas we go to fear. Southfield and it's like, we could lose this. Or yeah. there's that doubt of like worrying about losing mm. the game. So we sort of then are, are passing our, like everything about us is like stiff. Mm. And that's not when we're at our best. We're at yeah. our best when we're free flowing. Yeah, yeah. We're playing on the front foot, we're aggressive. But I just felt against Southfield the disappointment, which I'll obviously say on Saturday, but the disappointment was is that we weren't. We, we, every game we just need to be ourselves and yeah. we're going to lose games by doing that by going yeah. out and playing with that but we'll, sort win, of more but we'll win more than we lose especially like and, and we'll, we'll play be better and we'll be successful we'll absolutely we have, yeah one thing we have shaken off now though is this whole feeling of a vulnerability as we enter the last third of the game mm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah yeah fucking hell yeah we go three one back to like yeah. fucking Metro yeah, East no, game yeah, and yeah. the two or three games before mm. that it was the last bit we were fucking worried about it weren't we we shit ourselves in the last 10-15 minutes that's gone yeah but that's we've just but I think that's helped by being clinical at the other end yeah. Like if you look at the Westfield game, we were clinical. That that yeah. Arxbridge game, we were clinical there. Like we've been more clinical, I think, especially early. Like all of those games, we've scored early, like yeah. early. Yeah. Binfield is a village in Berkshire, a shade north of Bracknell and just outside of Reading. The football club that hails from that village is 132 years old. And from what we can tell, their current run in the Isthmian South Central Division, which started after a points per game promotion post-Covid, is the highest point the club has yet played at. And if we have got that right, that might explain their struggles. For while Reigns Park are enjoying their first ever season at Step 4, Binfield are sitting rock bottom, still in search of their first win, with 62 goals conceded in just 16 games. They'll be hoping that Reigns Park Vale are about to provide them with an early Christmas present, for it is indeed the season of merriment and Christmas jumpers, which so happens to be the player challenge for this week. Right, Christmas jumpers. You wore Grandad one at Slot's Christmas jumper. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Have you played yeah, that? Right? Right? <laughs> Tim didn't. No, I'm joking, it was fine, bro. Yeah, you're all good, yeah, you're all good, yeah. You didn't bring one, Pen. I'm buying you one for Christmas. So, <laughs> Nate, you didn't have one, did you? Really, Nate? Yeah. Disappointed, really. No. Why? I think it's fine. Yeah, but for the effort, not a That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Thicko, yeah. As he, yeah. All right, perfect. Oh, well, you know, okay. No worries. All right, brilliant. Good stuff. Good stuff. Everyone feeling okay? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Now, like we said, throughout the week, it's sort of been make sure our mindset mentality is right, which is going to be key. Just in terms of them, they're going to be as organised as they can be. OK, they're going to look to frustrate us. They're going to look to be disciplined. They're going to look to play on the counter. They're going to play off set pieces. They're going to basically, they're going to take the game, sort of 15 minute stints going, can we keep it to nil? Can we frustrate him? Can we frustrate him? Can we keep it there? And then if we get an opportunity, we'll try and take it. All right. So we've got to basically think in terms of our mindset mentality has got to be the complete fucking opposite in the sense it doesn't matter. Okay, obviously, can we fast start? Can we get a fast start? Can we fucking get a goal nice and early? 
If it's not, it's just the fact of being patient and waiting for our opportunity as the game goes on. All right, Not changing anything that we're doing in terms of the focus doesn't come away from anything but us and the performance that we put in all right? and the variation that we want to play with. Okay, If things are the same all right, and we're playing out or we're going longer and it's not working, change it up. Okay, but That comes from us out there doing that. Okay, it might be a third man run, it might be putting fucking early crosses into the box, it might be working the ball into the box, okay, more so than going, going longer. Okay, it might be going a little bit more direct. All right, those little things we've got to make sure we're switched on to, but together collectively, all right, that's really, really important. Busy period coming up, everyone's going to be used, all right, so make sure that starts today. All right? Yeah. Good. And yeah, these are, these are the type of games, boys, that we fucking, we, we as a team, and I say we, we can struggle with a little bit. All right, when we come up against teams that are down the bottom, our mentality, our focus switches off a little bit. These are the games in terms of your mentality, you're fucking switching yourselves on and making sure that your minds are switched onto it. The Southall game was a couple of weeks ago, but that is a prime example of us overthinking a game. Overthinking in terms of we knew we were coming up against a good team, we knew that it was going to be fucking difficult. Our game in terms of how we overall normally play went out the fucking window. Yes, we showed another really good side in terms of our defensive durability, but in terms of us, how we want to play, how we want to be aggressive, how we want to work the <coughs> patterns, we're fucking nowhere near it. And why not fucking change it now? We're in a good moment. This isn't a bad moment. We're in a good moment. We're fucking doing well in the league. We're winning games of football. But normally people wait until you lose a game or if life gets shit, it's normally until you fucking hit the bottom of the barrel until you go, oh, I better change that. Change it while it's going good. Change it while it's going good. Change it while you're still fucking winning games of football. Don't wait for that bad, bad moment. Don't wait for a game like today and go, hey, we dropped points. We might actually need to switch ourselves on. Fuck that. We do it now. We do it now when we're winning games. All right, let's go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. It's close to my house and uh, I can drink whilst watching the game. Is, That's what a lot of people say. Yeah, it's, it's, but also just it's kind of got like a community feel to it. You know, like if you go to a big game, you're kind of squashed in, you don't have that. It's, you know, and the standard football is very good. I know a lot of people kind of scoff at it, but standard football is good. So they're playing what, Binfield are like towards the bottom of the league. So yeah, just the last game before last home game before Christmas. See some goals. See a good performance. I'm just gonna do it. I'm always gonna do it. Oh my god! No, he said it. He said he was gonna do me. So yeah, he said you're gonna do me. He said you're gonna do me. So I just protected myself. Get yourselves on the cones. Get yourselves set up. Boys, make sure this is good in here. Make sure it's good. The focus, the fucking detail, quality, tempo. Make sure it's fucking good. Round to the right, let's go! Let's go! Good stretch, Swings, good stretch. Go with your right there. Oh my god. Good. Better, good. Superb, great Touch standard, well done. Touch count. Well done, good standard. Good, good. good. Great touch, Consistent. Sweeney. Consistent. Movement good as well, great detail. early movement. Details, details, come away from the cone. Communication, come on. Slow it down, 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 slow it down. Slow it down. That's it, good. Make sure we don't overplay, please. Play when we can, but don't overplay, all right? Between yourselves, all right? Yeah? Bish, all good, yeah? Feeling loosey-goosey, baby. Yeah, Loosey-goosey. Look at that angle. What the fuck is going on, Is that mate? inaccurate? No, that is massively inaccurate. You're the one that starts all the time. Yeah! Of course I did! I see you like this! I was like that! I was like straight through! Come on! Yep! Yeah, great save! Yep! Good. A little bit flat that one, Bish. Damn, where do I get an iced water for, for Carl? Sorry? Iced water. Uh, Is ice it ice behind the water? Is it ice behind the bar? Uh, yeah, but we don't have a ton though. Why, what do you? What hey, you want some water? Make sure a fast start. All right, mentality. Mentality is key. Come on. Do not let them have anything easy. Do not let them have anything easy. On and off the ball, make it very difficult for them. Thank you. I was about to take them up. Thank you very much. That's right. Okay. What's that there? Oh. Let me cool it down. Is it? Thank you. 
That's Carl's, Carl's water. No, it's Carl's water. Who? He, Carl knocked it over and he got really upset. I knocked his over and he got really upset. Huh? Me? No, I won't because he's crying about it, mate. Why does he get it though? I don't get it. I don't know, mate. He's got an Yeah, I know. No, he's got. I don't know what he's got. He's got a Luke save now with a bit of ice that he picks up from the floor. Whose water was that? Carl's. Why did you bring this out as well? I didn't. It was me. Mr. Mean was at it again. Oh, has someone spat in this today? No. Probably, yeah. He kicked, he kicked oh. one over. No, no, in them lot. Oh. It's going to get harder in the next few weeks, isn't it? What's that? The squad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We really desperately need friendlies, desperately need yeah. in-house games or friendlies. Just need yeah. we need a 3G full pitch. Yeah. Just so we can do little bits uh, in-house like minutes for players. Yeah, yeah. Keep everyone happy, keep everyone fit. Make sure you're ready, okay? Make sure you're ready. Well done. Good stuff, really good stuff in there. Are you having your water? Carl, you having your water? Are you having your water? <laughs> childish, mate. <laughs> Why is he so childish? <laughs> Childish. Well, you've been sulking. Sulking. Oh, shit. Who's making you sulk? Mr. Mean. Mr. Mean. Imagine calling someone Mr. Mean at the right page of 35. <laughs> Set pieces. Make sure organised, please. Okay, make sure organised. Make sure we've done these properly. All right, mine's right. Mine's right. Okay. Start switching yourselves on now. Come on. Make sure it's a nice, fast start. All right, fast start. Off. Okay, not flat. Nothing is flat. Energy enthusiasm must be done Loads. together Loads. though. Loads. Must be done Loads. together. Loads. If, if they play a free, yes, it's settled into a five. But if they wing backs get up, the ball's going to be in between with Sweens and Julian between those gaps on transition quickly, but yeah. playing forward. If not, the, the, and they sit in as a five, the out ball's the full backs, okay? And they look to create overloads down the sides, okay? But just manage it as we go along. All right, but the press, the press obviously you'll be doing full backs, you'll be doing their wing backs. All right, the wingers will be doing the centre halves. All right, so just make sure centre halves, you fucking swing round. You're going to have to swing round, all right, because you'll take the wingers technically and then get moody in. All right? I'm your point. All right, let's go. That was the build up to the Binfield match. If you hit the link at the end of this video or in the description, you can watch the match itself. And we'll see you over on that video. Hit the like button on your way.